Now on 4 News Now at 6, families of the four U of I students killed in their home are losing faith in police. Why Kaylee Gonsalves' family says police need to release more information about the case. Get ready for a slippery drive to work in the morning as we have another round of snow making its way into our area. I'll let you know how much we are going to get in the first alert forecast. And tonight we are paying tribute to the great coach Mike Leach and take a look at the impact he had on Cougar football. You're watching 4 News Now at 6 o'clock. We begin tonight with breaking news. In an effort to improve Spokane County's criminal justice system, the county commissioners are adding a measure to next year's ballot. If approved, it will be funded through a 0.2% sales and use tax. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. Commissioners saying overcrowding is just one of the reasons it's time to build a new jail. The current jail was built back in 1986 and holds about 460 inmates. The county says there are regular, regularly more than 800 people in the jail with peaks over 900. They also say a team has been assigned to best review the needs of the criminal justice system. Well, today marks one month since these four University of Idaho students were stabbed to death in their sleep. Police still don't have a weapon or suspect and families are losing faith in police. Consistency um, feeds to confidence and uh, confidence in the investigation, confidence in what you're doing, confidence in that uh, you're keeping things close to the best. A lack of consistency now has one of the victim's families hiring an attorney in an effort to get more transparency and accountability from police. Well, this new advocate is focusing on communication and prioritizing the grieving families. Police say they're working to keep loved ones connected, but finding this killer is what they're focused on. With no suspect, no weapon, no rest made, a month later, Esther Bauer shows us how families are reacting. The Gonsalves family just hired their own attorney who says he's pushing for accountability from officers here at the Moscow Police Department. As frustrations grow, so does intensity to find a killer and bring justice for victims. This is a horrible tragedy. The horrific crime at this home crushed families who are desperately trying to find answers and fight for more information. The reason they were giving the statements and trying to do that is they want to keep the investigation alive. They're fearful, right? There's not a lot of information that they're getting themselves from law enforcement, so they get desperate. And so, and when desperation kicks in, emotion kicks in. Those emotions leading to action. The Gonsalves family met with investigators this week asking for a new approach. We need to change the way you're communicating with the families and the victims' families. Something police say they're already doing with the family liaison officer. While we want to support the families, we hope the families know that us keeping the information safe is us doing the best to honor the victims, get the investigation right, make an arrest, successfully get to court and get justice. The investigation is far from over, but families just want to know what's going on first. Instead of learning new details from press releases or being left with more questions than answers. Is this piece of evidence true or not? And they can either confirm it or deny it or just say, don't don't pay attention to it. But what that does is it helps them sleep at night, helps them move on from that question. And if we're not getting that line of communication, then um, it's then that needs to change. And even with Christmas just weeks away, nothing about this investigation is changing. Police say the time, resources and intensity will continue to bring justice for victims and find who committed this heinous crime. Reporting in Moscow tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. Esther, thank you. Well, Moscow police say they receive dozens of useful tips every day that are helping them to further the investigation. They also say detectives are spending a lot of time on tips that are based on rumors to stop them from spreading online. A small piece of information that has speculation added to it just takes its own life on the internet and starts rumors. And then we find ourselves not only tracking those rumors down and trying to quell them, but also we see our tips that come in are uh, geared more toward the rumor, not the facts that have been put out. Well, police say there's still no suspects and they do not have a murder weapon. Captain Roger Lanier also reflecting on what it was like driving up to the crime scene one month ago. Was very, very somber. Like I said, that is a community of college students that live over there. Many of them through word of mouth knew what had happened. 
They were standing outside. There was a lot of crying. There were friends trying to find out who exactly was inside the house. And while investigators work to find the killer, the University of Idaho is working to calm the nerves of students on campus. In the last month, campus security has increased. There are more police patrolling the campus. The university recognizes that the murders not only changed the campus, but the Moscow community in general. Doors once left unlocked are now locked, and safety is now in numbers. We've increased some of the options we have for students as far as safe walk, safe ride, where they can have someone take them from the library to their dorm or from a classroom home. The university says about 70% of students return to dorms after Thanksgiving break. Campus numbers may change after students return from winter break on January 11th. The next round of snow is on its way tonight. And while it won't be a lot, it could cause a lot of problems for a morning commute. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker with your first alert forecast. Well, this system is all about timing. It is not going to produce much snow, but it's coming right at the morning commute. After a night of patchy freezing fog, we're expecting less than an inch of snow, and that Arctic air is still on track to move in later this week. Here's a look at our forecast radar. We could see a few isolated snow flurries this evening and overnight, but most of the snow will be moving in around 8 a.m. That is going to continue through the early part of the day before starting to dry out by noon tomorrow, and then we'll clear throughout the entire region tomorrow afternoon. Visibility around the region right now, we have uh, visibility less than a quarter mile in Deer Park. We're starting to see that freezing fog developing once again around the region, and that can make roads extremely slick, especially those that have not been treated. Temperatures around the region are below freezing. We are going to be slow to cool tonight. Expect lows tonight in the low 20s in most locations. That's going to be the warmest night we have uh, for quite some time. It's 27 right now in Spokane. 28 in Coeur d'Alene have to go down to Lewiston to find a temperature above freezing. This evening, temperatures in the mid-20s with low clouds and fog. That snow moving in early tomorrow morning. I'll tell you more about that and the cold weather on the way in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Chris, thank you. We have a consumer alert for anyone who drives a newer model Subaru Ascent. The company's recalling more than 270,000 2019 to 2022 models because of a fire risk. Subaru says it's because of an electrical issue and there's a fire risk when the vehicle's heater's on. Subaru also says until the car's been checked, owners should park the car outside, away from the garage, or other buildings. We have an update on the Spokane Valley teen whose car was stolen in front of his house. Check out these pictures. The family says Spokane County Sheriff's deputies found the car outside of a hotel early this morning. The family says the car was left running in front of their house to warm up when it was stolen. Police say leaving your car running and unattended on the street is not only risky, but it's also illegal. Former Washington State head football coach Mike Leach has died. Leach had been hospitalized since Sunday after suffering a personal health issue at his home. He was 61 years old. Sports director Julian Minnesone joins us in studio now. And Julian, you spoke with people in the Washington State Athletic Department about Leach's legacy. Yeah, sad day indeed for all in the sport. Mike Leach's legacy on college football, specifically in Pullman, cannot be understated. Leach was known for perfecting the air raid offense, which became a staple at Washington. Washington State and in college football programs across the country. Leach led the Cougars to six bowl appearances in eight seasons. Washington State play-by-play -play broadcaster Matt Chazanow called Leach a revolutionary. When you have a sense of validation from Valdosta State on of success and, and all the spots where he had been and where he had tested things out and seen it work or not work, if it didn't go well one game, he didn't deviate from his identity. And Leach compiled 158 wins in his career, and we will have a tribute to Mike Leach coming in our full sports cast later this hour. Guys. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. Save your green! It's time for a new shower. But you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $1,250 off your complete bathroom remodel. 
Healthy communities need more than health care. This is Multicare. We're here for you. The icy winds of winter are here. Whether you're heading up to the slopes or just traveling through a mountain pass, you need a vehicle that can handle the icy conditions. Stay in control with trucks, trucks, and more trucks from Northwest Motorsport. Three years ago, a five-year-old boy thrown from a third-floor balcony of a mall by a complete stranger, and he survived. Now tomorrow, the miracle boy and his mother speak out. Is there anything that you want people to know? The exclusive on GMA. What is a jewelry design center? Locally owned and the largest jewelry store in the region, offering you more choices, more options. A showroom filled with world famous brands and designers. A center who also creates exclusive designs and one of a kind pieces. Whose specialized selection process ensures the brightest diamonds and most vivid gems. We are not your average jewelry store. We are Jewelry Design Center and we want to be your jeweler for life. Every holiday season, Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots collects thousands of toys for less fortunate children during the Christmas holidays. We're thankful for all our donations and all our wonderful volunteers who bring joy to children during our 75th anniversary of Toys for Tots. Numerica Credit Union is honored to partner with organizations like Toys for Tots as they work to enhance lives, fulfill dreams, and build communities. Check out more organizations that make our community stronger at NumericaCU.com. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,250 off your complete bathroom remodel. But for the seniors, that's not good. I mean, that could be life and death. Well, that is Barbara Howard, a 26-year resident of Spokane Valley. She's among the many who are waiting on medication delivered late to her mailbox. It's a ripple effect from the larger problem of a mail carrier happening across the nation. Oh, with few carriers on hand, packages, standard mail, and medication are piling up in mail rooms. KXLY's Jordan Smith met with two people from the Valley who are experiencing those delays firsthand. He joins us with more on how it's impacting them. Yeah, well, I met with two people from the Valley earlier today. They tell me that medication has arrived as late as seven days from the original drop-off date. And that's something that's, that started back over the course of the summer. And it's not something that's just been exclusive for the holiday season. Mail delays continue to plague mailboxes across Spokane Valley. We go five, six days without getting mail. I'm on my sixth day right now of not getting mail. Pam Marlowe is a 31-year resident of the Valley. She says this problem first started over the summer. It's frustrating. For Barbara Howard, she hasn't seen mail since Friday. It's a service she uses to pay her bills. Because I've already been hacked by checking account. So I don't do anything like that online. And so I, I have my paper bills. Not only has standard mail been late to arrive, but so has medication. But my mother, I mean, her, her medications have been late too, so. How late have they been? Um, I think about a week, yeah, so. And she needs that medication. She's 90, she definitely needs the medication. So too does Barbara, who needs medication following a heart attack that she survived. You know, for the seniors, that's not good. I mean, that could be life and death. They tell me other neighborhoods nearby are having no problem receiving their mail, only fueling the frustration and curiosity as to why. And local post offices are doing what they can. They're actively trying to fill vacant positions, and current mail carriers are working around the clock, distributing as much mail as they can with each 12-hour shift that they complete. We reached out to the post office regarding medication arriving late. As of news time, we have not heard back. And I've been working to contact local lawmakers about this issue involving the post office here in the Inland Northwest. Some of the people I've spoken with have uh, sh shared their complaints, rather, with Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers' office in recent days. We are hoping to talk with them as well about a potential solution to this problem later this week. Guys? Jordan, thank you. If you're experiencing mail delays, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at news4 at kxly.com.
Light snow to start the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the 20s with low clouds and fog throughout the day. Your seven day forecast coming up after the break. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by RNR RV. It's all about the person that's leaving this world, mm -hmm. but it's equally about the family. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to handle certain situations, and, and hospice can come in and train us. It takes a special person. Yeah, I said, you are amazing at what you do. And she said, this is a calling, and I love what I do. To learn how you can join the Hospice of Spokane team, visit hospiceofspokane.org. It's a Christmas to remember at Dishman. Get great buys on Ram trucks and Jeeps or special markdowns on pre-owned SUVs and four-wheel drives. But our best offer is a free big screen TV with every purchase. This week at Dishman. At Northern Quest, tis the season to celebrate however you want with steaks at Maslow's, holiday cocktails and festive nights at Highball, holiday gift cards, unique shopping at Windfall, Plus, free family fun at Questmas Village and our larger-than-life gingerbread house, opening December 12th. And after all that, join us to ring in 2023 at the hottest New Year's party in town. Get all the holiday details at northernquest.com. Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Shelly. At Rosenberg Construction, we build some of the most beautiful custom homes in North Idaho. Like our spectacular spec home, now for sale at the club at Rock Creek, Coeur d'Alene's newest private golf course filled with stunning natural beauty. Our custom homes are furnished and designed with you in mind. For our clients looking for that unique, one-of-a-kind piece of furniture, we always recommend Consign Furniture in Liberty Lake. From great rooms to dining rooms to master suites, Consign Furniture is sure to turn any house into a home. Our cooling trend is already underway. High temperature today, 28 degrees, 34 is our average high, and it's going to get a lot colder in the seven-day forecast. Right now, it's 27 degrees in Spokane with overcast conditions, overcast in Coeur d'Alene, and it is 28. Busy at the Spokane Arena right now. I'd speculated in the 5 o'clock it was the Chiefs there on the road. That is five-finger death punch. 21 for an overnight low tonight with freezing fog and snow flurries possible. We'll have some snow tomorrow morning. It is not going to amount to much. I'll show you some estimates in just a moment. High temperature tomorrow of 27 degrees. Here's a look at our forecast radar starting off at our current time. And again, we could have a few isolated snow flurries tonight coming out of that low stratus deck that is so typical in our winters in the inland northwest. Then a weak to Disturbance drops down from British Columbia. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with snow throughout North Idaho, and we are just getting brushed with that precipitation in Spokane. The further uh, to the east you go, the more likely you're going to get a little bit of snow on your morning commute. And by this time tomorrow, we are dry across the region, but still in the clouds. Here's a look at some of the snowfall estimates for tomorrow's storm. We're not going to see anything as we head west. Grand Coulee, Ritzville is about the far extreme end of any snow at all. And even at that, I think uh, you'll be more likely to just see a few flurries. Half inch to almost an inch around Coeur d'Alene with a little over an inch in Bonners Ferry. An inch of snow possible in St. Mary's and Pullman. Again, just a little bit of snow on already slick roads from freezing fog and iced over roads from our last big snowfall will mean a tricky morning commute, so allow yourself some extra time. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the teens and 20s, most locations staying in the 20s, and this will be uh, the warmest night we'll have for quite some time. We have some much colder air making its way in. Wednesday's highs, it's not, it's a short thermometer, not much of a warm up. We're gonna be in the mid 20s to upper 20s, 
30 at St. Mary's and in Kellogg and will likely hit our highs fairly early in the afternoon and then see those temperatures drop. 24 for a high Thursday, still in the 20s on Friday with overcast conditions and then we're into the teens for highs. If anything, these temperatures might be uh, just a little on the high side. Overnight lows will depend a lot on our cloud cover. If we clear out on any one of these nights, we can drop below zero very easily. Our next chance of snow is on Sunday and once again, not very impressive chance of snow, maybe just a dusting, but we'll be tracking that and talking about even colder weather on the way. That's coming up in the next half hour. Aaron. Chris, thank you. The Anti-Defamation League says violence towards Jewish people reached an all-time high last year. This year could be shaping up to have more of the same. And your children are most likely learning about anti-Semitism. Today, hundreds of Central Valley students heard a first-hand account of the Holocaust. New at 6, Vanessa Perez is here in studio with the story of this Holocaust survivor. Carla Pepperzak turned 99 years old this year and to this day uses her experience to educate people. As a teen, she fought to survive an absolutely horrific and dark time in history. <laughs> this generation is most likely the last to hear from someone like Pepperzak. I think one of the biggest takeaways for me was that um, no matter what happens, you can push through and that there is good in people um, and that like you need, just need to focus on that. Pepper Zach was about the age of these sophomores when the Nazis invaded her Amsterdam community. Pepper Zach didn't speak about her experience for years, but now she uses it to make sure it never happens again. The hate is something we have to get rid of, we, you know, and that's why I sort of talk about the word respect, because if you respect, you don't hate. The Nazi government required Jewish people to have a J on their ID. They were also forced to wear the Star of David. Pepper Zach managed to get out of having to wear the star. Well, that made a tremendous difference. And I'm sure that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. But, uh, at the very beginning, uh, it was okay. We didn't think it was going to be so terrible. But of course, eventually, that, uh, you know, wearing the star was. Well, not having the star meant you, you know, you could live, and having the star would be basically a death sentence. Pepper Zach also forged IDs and helped people hide from Nazis. While she survived, about 20 of her family members did not, and millions of innocent lives were lost. The thing is for me that they know about the Holocaust, so that they will be aware and that it won't happen again. That's very important for me. And also Spokane Public Schools is building a new middle school, which will be named after Pepper Zach. Reporting in the studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. The Coeur d'Alene Police Department is mourning the loss of a recently retired canine, Halo. Police say Halo was a German Shepherd that trained in Slovakia. His areas of expertise included tracking, apprehension, and protection. Halo retired back in September when it was discovered his health was on the decline. Officers say Halo was deployed more than 1,200 times throughout Kootenai County. He was involved in 240 arrests and was part of nearly 400 drug-related busts. Police say he was loved by the entire department and will be missed. They went on to say, we lost Halo this month, but we hear all dogs go to heaven and heaven just earned a new Halo. Health officials are sounding the alarm about the rise in COVID, flu, and RSV cases spreading across the inland northwest. What they say you can do to prevent your family from getting sick. That's coming up. Download the 4 News Now app today. Get what you really want at Wendell Nissan. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Frontier, Titan. It's our year-end clearance going on now. Great financing and selection on new and used vehicles. Wendell Nissan at the Y on North Division. Frozen water pipes are a serious risk during cold winter weather. When water freezes in a pipe, it can be disaster for your home and your wallet. If you're not properly prepared, don't wait until it's too late. At Mainstream, we know exactly what it takes to keep your family safe during the cold season. So call or visit us online today. The Grammy winning songs, the Tony winning moves, Ain't Too Proud, the life and times of the Temptations. Coming January 17th through 22nd, tickets on sale now. Every time you use your ICCU Premier Rewards Visa card, you're earning rewards.
cash back or points, being a member of Idaho Central really pays back. Start earning points and getting cash back for your everyday purchases. It's a win-win. Idaho Central Credit Union. We believe life should be rewarding. This holiday season, Walker's Furniture and Drew Timmy are teaming up with the help of KXLY to give some person or family in need the gift of a better night's sleep. My favorite color is purple. Just go to KXLY.com and nominate the person or family who could use a new mattress. And on December 21st, we'll announce the winner. Thank you, KXLY, for helping Walker's Furniture and myself spread the word for this great cause. Together, we can make a difference. Save now with Bymart's Christmas Savings Book, arriving in your mailbox this week. Inside, you'll find 16 pages of store-wide savings. Save on decorative throws and pillows. Small appliances make great gifts for all. And save on everyone's favorite snacks and holiday beverages. Watch for our Christmas Savings Book in your mailbox and find it posted online at buymart.com. Our employee owners are bringing you more Christmas savings and value every day this holiday season. Bymart, where your membership matters. Get what you really want at Wendell Nissan. Murano, Rogue, Pathfinder, Frontier, Titan. It's our year-end clearance going on now. Great financing and selection on new and used vehicles. Wendell Nissan at the Y on North Division. 4 News Now is brought to you by The Tire Store. New tonight at 6, for the first time in almost a year, inflation cooled considerably and more than expected last month. That's according to a recent consumer report. But what does it mean for your bottom line? CNN's Ivan Rodriguez breaks down the numbers and whether you will actually feel any relief. After feeling the squeeze of rising costs for months, a new federal report shows inflation is cooling and President Joe Biden says it's a promising sign for Americans. This new report is the fifth month in a row where annual inflation has fallen in the United States. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, prices rose 7.1% annually in November. That's down from 7.7% in October. Month to month, prices rose by 0.1% last month compared to October's 0.4%. Make no mistake, prices are still too high. We have a lot more work to do, but things are getting better. But what does this actually mean for Americans? Economist Joe Brusuela says lower prices for those essential everyday items like food and gas. And as we move forward in the next year, prices are going to move back towards what can be better be described as generally stable. Meanwhile, United Airlines is feeling confident about the economy, announcing a massive purchase for at least 200 Boeing planes. This is a really big step uh, for United. In terms of a recession impacting the travel industry, United CEO Scott Kirby says he doesn't see one coming. We just don't see it in our data. In fact, every month we set new records. This week, the Federal Reserve is expecting to raise interest rates again, aiming to cool down the economy and bring down inflation, all while avoiding triggering a recession. And economists say the Fed could begin loosening its policy next year as more data points to lower inflation. The November inflation report provided an early holiday gift for all Americans. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. Around the nation tonight, President Biden has signed a new law giving same-sex and interracial couples new federal protections. The president signed the Respect for Marriage Act into law. The new law avoids the Defense of Marriage Act, a 1996 law that defined marriage as between a man and a woman. Marriage is a simple proposition. Who do you love? And will you be loyal with that person you love? It's not more complicated than that. The new law requires states to honor all marriages regardless of sex, race, ethnicity, or national origin. It also has protections for religious institutions and does not require states to issue same-sex marriage licenses. Also new tonight, an independent federal agency is calling on Congress to help prevent college students from taking on too much debt. The Government Accountability Office says most colleges fail to provide all the financial information students need. Prospective college students usually receive a financial aid letter once they're accepted. The letters list costs, grant awards, and federal loans, but have been criticized as being complicated. A new bill has been introduced in the Senate that would ban TikTok in the U.S. Lawmakers are concerned about the app's parent company, ByteDance, and its affiliation with China. Some doubt the company's ability to safeguard Americans' data from the Chinese government. TikTok has not commented on the proposed legislation. 
More kids are staying home from school because of respiratory illnesses. What steps you can take to keep your kids healthy during the holidays coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Bill's Heating and Air is now accepting applications for plumbers, electricians, HVAC professionals, and highly motivated people wanting a career in the heating and air conditioning business. Every new hire is trained in our one-of-a-kind training center, featuring instructors with decades of HVAC experience and a climate-controlled, state-of-the-art lab where employees receive extensive hands-on training. Apply today in person at 1007 North Boulder Court, Post Falls, Idaho, or call 208-777-5528. Here we grow again. Even more fun is headed to Spokane Tribe Casino. You love Caesar Sportsbook, the grill and bar, and larger variety of games we recently added. Gear up for a new food court, a completely smoke-free gaming area, a state-of-the-art entertainment venue, and more. Things just keep getting better. You're in for guaranteed holly jolly wins of free slot play, gift cards, or up to $1,000 cash. Play the Santa's Workshop kiosk game this December at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. Our family is all over the place sometimes, but ICCU helps us keep up with them. We use card control to turn on Olive's debit card when she needs to pay for activities. And turn it off when she's shopping online. <laughs> we make sure Forrest is depositing his lawn mowing checks into his college fund. And we definitely make sure to ask Grandma Ivy where all those Zelle transfers come from. Phew, was a lot of keeping up. Ready for a break? Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. The triple threat of viruses is surging across the U.S. and here in the inland northwest. State and local health departments are now saying it's more important than ever to follow virus prevention guidelines. Tonight at 6.30, our Peter Choi explains how these respiratory diseases are impacting our community. Yeah, if you're staying at home sick, because of viruses like RSV, flu, or COVID, you're not alone. The Washington Health Department says they're seeing a surge of winter respiratory disease, which are impacting the state's health system. The winter surge of flu, the winter surge of RSV, and the winter surge of respiratory disease, which is really impacting our healthcare system. Three respiratory viruses are sweeping the country this winter, starting to take a toll on our community. Respiratory viruses uh, are impacting the, the, the entire state. Um, in general, a pattern that we sometimes see is that uh, a, a virus uh, will peak first in the western part of the state, and followed by a peak maybe one or two weeks later in the eastern part of the state. And now impacting a local hospital in Spokane. We are seeing significant amounts of influenzas, pneumonias from the influenza. And because we have a children's hospital, we have a significant amount of RSV. We've actually opened an additional unit to be able to accommodate all of the RSV patients that are coming into our facility. The students are getting sick at school. Spokane Public School is now requiring all students, staff, and visitors to mask up at Wilson Elementary School. SPS says about 30% of students were absent on Monday, higher than the average absentee rate in the district. Areas in North Idaho are seeing similar cases, particularly among younger age groups. We've had a couple schools reach out to us um, about that, and we've advised them on the important things if somebody is sick to keep them home. Um, 
and um, to also, you know, the sanitation. Uh, we do th- we do say that masking is one way that they can help prevent the spread of that. The Washington Health Department recommends simple steps to stay healthy. To get vaccinated if you haven't done so, and wash your hands often and wear a mask in indoor settings. And you can self-test at home for COVID. And most importantly, stay home if you're sick to avoid spreading viruses. Live in studio tonight, Peter Choi, for News News. Peter, thank you. Despite flu cases being on the rise, the number of parents getting their kids vaccinated is lower compared to last year. In Idaho, only 33% of eligible kids have received the flu shot, down 6% from last year. Rates are a bit better in Washington. Rates are only down 5% from last year, with 32% of kids vaccinated. A live look over downtown Spokane. No doubt busy with shoppers and all sorts of holiday fun, even on a Tuesday night. Boy, the lights in uh, River Park or Riverfront Park are just gorgeous if you are deciding whether or not to make the trip into downtown. I recommend it, although tomorrow morning for workers making their way into the city, it may be tricky travel. We've got some freezing fog tonight on the roadways and then some light snow in extreme eastern Washington and north Idaho through the morning commute generally less than an inch around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene and then the Arctic air moves in which I'll be talking about more in just a moment. It doesn't look like much on our radar and satellite. A cold front that is mainly going to be focusing to the east of us is just going to clip the inland northwest tomorrow morning. Here's a look at some of the snowfall forecast totals again in general, less than an inch around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, up to an inch around Pullman, St. Mary's and Sandpoint, little more in Bonners Ferry and Kellogg. Meanwhile, as we head further to the west, uh, likely staying dry from about Ritzville on maybe a flurry or two. Temperatures right now, we are cooling down very slowly as the low clouds and fog, they keep things cooler during the day, but they also act like a blanket at night, keeping our temperature from dropping as rapidly as it would otherwise. We'll be bottoming out in the lower 20s in most locations around the region tomorrow morning. That's going to be one of the warmer nights in our forecast, actually the warmest night in our forecast. Here's a look at your Wednesday planner, that chance of snow through the morning, and then that will taper off as the day goes on. May even see some sunshine in the afternoon. High temperature of 27 degrees. I'll be back to talk about Arctic air in just a few minutes. Aaron. Chris, thank you. In just a few weeks, Spokane County will have a new sheriff for the first time in 17 years. Today, friends and family gathered for current sheriff Ozzy Knezovich's retirement party to thank him for his years of service. He was appointed as sheriff back in 2006. Prior to that, he served as a patrol officer for the city of Olympia and the city of Rock Springs, Wyoming. During his speech, he said Spokane County will be in good hands as he passes the torch to current undersheriff John Knowles, which will happen in January. For the first time ever, U.S. scientists have produced a nuclear fusion reaction resulting in a so-called net energy gain. It's a major milestone in a decades-long attempt to source clean, limitless energy from nuclear fusion. The goal? To one day power our houses and help end dependence on fossil fuels. The U.S. Department of Energy officially announced the history-making accomplishment today. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory. Anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Past fusion experiments, including one in the United Kingdom, have generated more energy but have not had nearly as big of an energy gain. Experts say there's still a long way to go to make the project commercially viable. A tribute to former Washington State football coach Mike Leach coming up later in sports. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. When COVID hit, we were scrambling to figure out what are we going to do. Literally got a phone call from Numerica. Hey, we just want to let you know we're here for you. We've, we've, we've got funding that we're sending your way. And I mean, I cried on the phone. It's just nice to have a place that it can give you some sort of stability and hope and, and, and get you back on track to where you need to be. 
Thank you so much for all your support. It actually means something greatly to us. Everything seems to be getting more and more expensive these days. And it's the same for your heating bills. Since it will cost more to heat your home this winter, USA Insulation wants to give you control over your utility bills. Our premium injection foam keeps the cold outside and your warm, comfortable air inside right where it belongs. Call now for a $500 early bird discount plus low monthly payment plans. USA Insulation. With a little love. Holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Custom order a 2023 Bronco Sport or F-150 and lock in 3.9% for 60. Only at your local Ford dealer. Idaho is growing. But let's not just grow larger. Let's grow smarter. After high school, college, or university, Idaho public colleges and universities have the six lowest costs of all states. And higher education means higher incomes. More opportunities. A better life for you. For us. For Idaho. For Idaho. Visit educationforidaho.org to learn more. The woman trapped in her overturned car and the hero who came to her rescue. Are you okay? Reunited. Next Inside Edition. He's the only guy who stopped to save her. Now they're meeting for the first time. Then, legendary star Elizabeth Taylor. Her love letters revealed for the first time. After eight marriages, who was the real love of her life? Next Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. We've got some cold air on the way. Here's a look at our temperature trend over the next seven days. These are our high temperatures. This white line right here is average, and we are going to be on a steady decline until we are in the teens for highs Monday and Tuesday. If anything, those temperatures might be a little warm. Overnight lows are trickier. Very small things that happen like low clouds and fog can throw off an overnight low temperature forecast, but would not be surprised at all to see us slip below zero uh, early next week. The iPhone users, if you get your phone uh, out and look up a forecast just on your phone, it may say something like we're headed down to overnight lows in the 30s below zero beyond <laughs> the seven-day forecast. That shocked some people in the newsroom earlier today. We said download the 4 News Now First Alert weather app. It will not say that. But indications are as we get into that 8 to 10-day forecast, we are going to get even colder, perhaps some of the cold this weather we have seen in years. We have not been below zero officially in Spokane since March of 2019. Here's our 10 day forecast. This is December 19th through the 23rd. And as you can see, we are in these dark, dark, dark blues indicating that that uh, cold streak is going to continue through the end of the seven day forecast and beyond. Also introduces a chance of above average precipitation, which would most certainly be snow if we are below average, but that is not as strong of a signal. Here's a look now. We are not going to be the only ones talking about cold. In fact, the coldest air is going to be east of here and is going to be gripping much of the country. Here's a look at some upper level temperatures, actually uh, 850 millibars, so not far from the surface, starting off next Monday morning. I just want to show you what your phone is uh, panicking about. As we go through Wednesday morning, you start to see these lighter pinks and whites. This is the coldest air. We are right on the edge of that, filtering through the mountain passes. And then it establishes itself a little more firmly Thursday morning. That's when we may be seeing the coldest weather of this cold snap. And then it begins to make its way further to the east. And we are going to be seeing some really cold conditions through the upper Midwest. If you're traveling for the holiday and you are headed east, take your down coat along with you and your hat and your gloves. You are going to be cold and we are going to start to see our temperatures. It looks like moderate as we get into Christmas, but I think we're going to 
hold on to that foot of snow that we have uh, through the next several days and right on through Christmas Day. Little bit of light snow tomorrow, as I mentioned in general, less than an inch. Then we are dry with low clouds and fog and occasional snow flurries coming out of that fog through Saturday. Another chance of snow on Sunday and then cold air coming in next week. Not 100% sure on the numbers, but we are very certain that uh, we are going to be very cold, the coldest weather of the season. Kirsten? Thanks for explaining that, Chris. Well, those temperatures are dropping, but that doesn't mean you should miss out on continuing to stay active outside. Well, health experts say there are many benefits to year-round exercise. You just have to do it the right way. Sports medicine experts say year-round exercise is critical for both mental and physical health, and you can get more out of your workout in the winter months. That because our bodies have to work a little bit harder with regard to our metabolism to help maintain our core body temperature, we can actually burn more calories in, the, in cold weather training than we can during warm weather training. To do that safely, experts recommend you dress appropriately, add another layer for every 15 or 10 to 15 degrees below 50 in Spokane today. That would mean wearing two or three layers. He also says to conserve energy and maintain body heat, do the hardest part of your workout first. And it's important to remember staying hydrated is important even when it's cold outside. Well, new tonight at 6.30, a former FTX CEO is fighting extradition to the U.S. ABC's Justin Finch explains how a once popular figure in the cryptocurrency world is now facing federal charges. This morning, the founder of the now bankrupt cryptocurrency trading firm FTX, once valued at $32 billion, is in custody in the Bahamas. Sam Bankman Freed arrested at the request of the U.S. government. The charges not being unveiled until later today, but a source says the 30 year old faces a multi count fraud indictment. This is a whole new kind of scheme. They were looking at Sam Bankman Freed's use of customer funds from FTX to satisfy orders from Alameda Research, which was the trading firm that he founded. After the alleged misappropriation was reported last month, customers rushed to withdraw their money, causing FTX to implode after it was unable to recover the withdrawals. The company short billions of dollars. Our George Stephanopoulos sat down with Bankman Freed last month after the stunning collapse. Carolyn Ellison said that you all knew that these funds were used, were put into Alameda. They were the funds owned by your depositors. So I can't speak for who knew what. Are you worried about going to jail? Well, I'm trying to focus on what I can do going forward to be helpful and, you know, let whatever you know regulatory and legal processes are happening play out as they will. Bankman Freed's downfall has been swift. Once the poster boy for cryptocurrency, his company spending hundreds of millions on stadium naming rights, luxury beachfront properties, and celebrity endorsements. You just need FTX. And even a Super Bowl ad where Larry David sarcastically advised people not to use FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Eh, I don't think so. Bankman Freed was scheduled to testify before Congress today, but that appearance has now been canceled. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. You can give a shelter dog at Spoke Animal a home for the holidays this year. Now through December 30th, Spoke Animal will let you take a puppy or dog home and you can bring them back or adopt them after. Spoke Animal Executive Director Dory Peck says this gives dogs a break from shelter life and pairs people with a cozy companion for the holiday season. You're welcome to foster for a few days, a week or longer. Anyone who adopts will be able to take their new pet home for a discounted price. The dogs get to go home, have a wonderful time. Um, families get to have love throughout the holidays. We get to do what we need to do on this end, and hopefully people will adopt them so that we can save more. Spoke Animal is at full capacity with about 50 dogs up for adoption, even more in foster care. You can visit Spoke Animal between noon and 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday to pick up your pet. For more information on the program and to see some of the animals at the shelter, see this story on KXLY.com. Well, major shipping deadlines for holiday delivery are just days away. The increased holiday volume and winter weather will 
be putting those big carriers to the test. So if you're sending gifts this season, knowing when and how can make a big difference. For delivery by December 25th, exactly, the United States Postal Service says the recommended deadline for ground service packages and first class mail, like greeting cards, is this Saturday, December 17th. Priority mail, Monday the 19th. Everybody wants to get those holiday greetings and gifts in the mail. So be patient with the retail clerks, be patient with your carrier. Next time you ship. The Postal Service YouTube channel has a how-to video on topics like properly packing a box and addressing a package to a military service member. It also says if you're planning to wrap the outside of your shipping boxes in brown paper or really anything else, don't. No brown paper packages, no tied up with string. Do not do that because it, you could run the risk of things getting caught in the machinery. It's like that song, uh, brown paper package. I get it, I get it. <laughs> With all major carriers, the closer to December 25th, the more expensive expedited delivery options will be. And here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Download the 4 News Now app today. Every time you use your ICCU Premier Rewards Visa card, you're earning rewards. Whether it's cash back or points, being a member of Idaho Central really pays back. Start earning points and getting cash back for your everyday purchases. It's a win-win. Idaho Central Credit Union. We believe life should be rewarding. Looking for some fun? Then come play for the day at the Coeur d'Alene Casino and discover new ways to win big inside the new Discovery Den. The first and only video game testing room in the U.S. with many of the top manufacturers in the world under one roof where you get to play them first and decide which games stay and which ones don't. You will set the trends for the future of gaming only at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Welcome home. Last week, I uh, stepped in a bear trap. I should really get rid of it, but I'll make do. Just like I make do without home internet. Besides, my phone gets the job done. Sometimes. It's not that bad. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Home Internet for just $24.99 a month for two years, with a free streaming box included. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. It's the new Coeur d'Alene Nissan Service and Parts Center. We're ready to keep your car in the best condition possible so you can drive with confidence. From express service to more advanced diagnostics and repairs, our certified technicians deliver expert service and advice. We also have an inventory of factory Nissan parts. You can personalize your vehicle with accessories tailored to your Nissan. Parts and service at the new Coeur d'Alene Nissan right off Highway 95. Four News Now is brought to you by the Coeur d'Alene Convention and Visitors Bureau. The college football world will never be the same. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesone. Former Washington State head football coach Mike Leach died after suffering a personal health issue in his home over the weekend. He was 61 years old. Coaches, players, and others from around the sport describe Leach as a visionary, a pioneer, an innovator. And whether it was drawing up a touchdown play or going off on one of his famous tangents, Mike Leach left a mark on college football forever. 21 years. Minshew to throw. 158 wins. One undeniable personality. First of all, what kind of mythical powers does a Sun Devil have? We've got to consider that. Never afraid of a microphone or an opposing defense. Tosses it left sideline. Tay Martin in strike 10 and waltzes into the end zone. Mike Leach dials it up. 36-yard TD. Mike Leach had a law degree and never played college football, but somehow became a staple of the game 
and in typical Mike Leach fashion, impossible to ignore. I, I don't know whether you guys went to college or whether you went to uh, uh, journalism school or whether you know you started out in the mailroom or whatever, but uh, you know you guys all learned your trade. An innovative offense. Play action, end zone, touchdown. And in a reverent sense of humor. I hope there's Bigfoot. I don't think there is. The reason I don't think there is because. We found bones of dinosaurs and everything else, but we haven't found bones that I've heard of, of Bigfoot. Leach's career brought him to the Big 12 and the SEC, but those in Pullman remember him most as a coup. And he made Washington State University fun and cool and national and compete at the highest level, and that on the football field. Leach coached Washington State from 2012 to 2019. He led the Cougars to six bowl appearances and was named Coach of the Year in 2018. I know Coach Leach means a lot to a lot of people in this building and a lot of Cougs everywhere. A legacy forever imprinted in playbooks across the sport. I mean, if you're dedicated and you care about what you're doing and if uh, the desire to be great exists at all, I mean, uh, you know, you read and study your work. Mike Leach, the man known for the passing offense who passed the test of time. And Leach is survived by his wife, four children, and three grandchildren. That'll wrap us up for sports. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Next DT, we're on the blue carpet for Avatar's Hollywood Takeover. It was love at first sight with us. Plus, our Bacon Brothers exclusive, hitting the road for carpool karaoke. It was a little frightening. As Kevin celebrates 30 years of a few good men. Everybody was so on top of the game. Then, I've been collecting Christmas for 35 years. Only we're inside Kathy Hilton's Winter Wonderland home tour. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me. We are the helping Taxes aren't free, but your furnace could be. This holiday season, when you purchase a Daikin air conditioning unit, you'll receive a Daikin furnace, free. That's right, free. Let us keep you and your family comfortable all year round. Contact Mainstream today. Hey, Greens, how's everything going today? Hey, Robert, we're good. Just checking in on that car loan we applied for. No worries, let me pull that up. Yep. Looks like you're approved and all set. Hey, that's great news. So, you headed over to the dealership now? Yep, just gotta make one stop first. And we got a great rate, too. It's the musical television event of the season. Oh, no! Beauty and the Beast, a 30th celebration. It's gonna be phenomenal. Iconic. Immersive. The party of a lifetime. Beauty and the Beast, a 30th celebration. Thursday on ABC. Parents and grandparents hear it time and time again. Enjoy every minute because it goes by so quickly. With their first steps, they start imagining, exploring, and dreaming of what's next. You can help put those dreams in motion by saving for college with Washington's 529 College Investment Plan. Building their Dream Ahead account now can help them be ready for wherever their dreams take them. Give your student the gift of education today at wastate529.wa.gov. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Lines Insurance at alllinesinsure.com. Light snow tomorrow morning. High temperatures only in the 20s, but it's going to get a lot colder before it gets warm. Oh. Yeah, this is the cozy night. We better all feel <laughs> good about yeah. it. It's yeah. nice and toasty. It's warm in here. Uh, we need our fireplaces. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News now.